before I start this video, if you want to book an appointment with me directly and talk about your course or uh, admission process or visa process or documentation, anything, first link in the description is the link which you can use to book the appointment and I will show up directly. Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel once again. So at the moment, I'm here at uh, Stuttgart main station taking a RE1 towards Karlsruhe main station and I'm going to get off at Posheim Hauptbahnhof and we're going there to cover the university and uh, let's start the video. My veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause oh I came God, to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah Work. By the way, that train is going to Switzerland. SBB is a service for Switzerland. I won't stop till I make a change. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. So these are local trains which run through intercity. Uh, across the state of Baden Württemberg. I like the whole uh, interior. It's really good. There's a charging port also right here. Yeah. I'm not sure if they have Wi Fi. I think there's a Wi Fi too here uh, on the train. from main station of Stuttgart to Posheim is of one hour exactly oh, no sorry 30 minutes exactly uh, yeah it's not that far and uh, the same train will then continue to go to Karlsruhe uh, which is not far from Posheim uh, so yeah all right so we have reached Posheim Hauptbahnhof the city is also called as Goldstadt which is a gold city so here we are at what's time Hobbana. The city is basically known for gold mining and watchmaking industry uh, and also the doorway for Black Forest. 6 a.m. and I'm up again. I got tired. So the only memory I have about Posheim is every time I used to go to Stuttgart by bus, the bus would always stop outside here. Probably the bus stop looks right outside there. Good. How was your trip? All good? It was very straightforward. I think you got good, it good. Good. I just need a cup of blend. That's right. In the AM, that's my only friend. No light, just the sun coming up on the horizon. I lose track of time. Yeah, move fast. So this is the main Habanov station which we got out from. I have like a couple of friends who have joined us. Do you guys want to introduce yourself? Maybe we start. Uh, hello, I'm from India, uh, Mumbai. Uh, I came to Forzheim to pursue my MBA International Management in September 2020. I have my background is in Mechanical Engineering and uh, since GMAT or a GRE equivalent is a requirement, I gave GMAT as well and I got a score of 550. Hi, I am from Goa, India and I'm, we are both enrolled in the same course and I landed here in uh, 2020 December and uh, my background is uh, in nautical science i've been sailing as a navigating officer and uh, for my entry requirement basically i gave gmat for which i got uh, 550 same as my friend here so we will go this way this way will lead us to where uh, this way will lead us to the main busiest area of the city there is a bus stop right there yeah yeah and taxi stand also right yes. here which bus will take me directly on the campus? Bus number? On the, on, directly to the campus, it's bus number 5. But bus number 5, you can catch basically from any bus stop. So okay. it's very accessible even if the students are not living close to the university. Something like that. So it's been for you almost roughly what? 6-8 months? About 8 months. Eight yeah. Months. Eight months. Past divine, yeah, true passion shines And I'm through passing time I choose second dimes You snooze half the time while I move past We are basically at the confluence of three rivers This is the dry Flusser Brunnen So it basically is the convergence of three rivers that comes And you can actually drink the water that is there coming out 
and what you see on top is uh, the Blumenhof. It's uh, again a very old tower. It's got basically like a clock which is there, and uh, this is the courthouse. Yeah. So, if somebody is flying for the first time, what flight route would you suggest them so to take to get here? The best one is either to take the Frankfurt mm -hmm. one or the Frankfurt Stuttgart one. So you uh, come to Frankfurt. You come to Frankfurt from Frankfurt how, uh, from Frankfurt Airport. There's a train that takes you to Fordsheim. You have to change at Karlsruhe, yes. and then you come to Fordsheim. Okay. And then if you're coming in from Stuttgart, then again from Stuttgart. The same route what I took. Yeah. Okay. Basically, you come to from the to Hauptbahnhof and from Hauptbahnhof to Fordsheim. Look for trains which are going to Karlsruhe because Karlsruhe is like not so far from here. And Karlsruhe is about yeah. 30 kilometers from yes. here. Very close by. Yeah. Is this a museum? The gold museum? Gold? No, no, no. That's not the one. There is a museum here there in the city. There is an archaeological museum which yes. is there, but it is not here. It's and they the have like side. things from 5,000 yeah, years yeah, back also, yes, right? Yes, yes. In the museum. Museum. Yeah. yeah. It's the archaeological museum which okay, is there. Okay. Okay. And uh, this is again, say, like an extension of the Leopoldstrasse. Leopoldstrasse started all the way there. Again, Leopoldstrasse. After the Hauptbahnhof, this is the place where you have the most number of bus stops and connections to other parts of the city, especially say to different cities as well. So, what bank account do you have? Local account? Here? So, I have a Sparkas account. Uh, this is also a very famous bank. Okay. Yeah. Comets Bank, of course, well known. Sparkas is Sparkas also well known. Is well known. But Sparkasa has, for students, it has less charge as compared to other banks' maintenance. Really? Okay. From my point of view, they are much faster than other banks in terms of opening a bank account. Really? Once you are in Germany. Cool. Okay. At least for for side. Is so this I for your city? Yeah. Yes. Oh, Deutsche Bank is also right here. Yeah. Deutsche Bank, Comets Bank, and there was a Sparkasa that way. Sparkas is up the hill. Where yeah, you go straight and then take a left. Where are we right now? So we are near the Schloss Galeria right now. It is one of the big malls that we have here. But there's also another one in the city center called the Kaufhof. Uh, I would say this one, Schloss Galeria, is a little bit more convenient for the students as compared to the Kaufhof, especially because of the price. Actually, it's pretty massive, huh? It yeah. starts here and it like, goes all the way to the back. Really at the back. So Woolworth uh, is the best spot to buy uh, household items if you want to set up your whole house. They uh, sell it I would I would say I don't know really because I already got a furnished flat. Okay, uh, so I'm, I'm just telling you they are everywhere in Germany. Oh, okay. Uh, they are the best spot to go and buy anything which is going to be aesthetically mm -hmm. going to look appealing and oh, make okay. more from a house to home basically. Mm -hmm. What insurance do you have? I have TK. TK insurance, huh? Technical banking class, sir. Very simplified. You come here, you tell them you're here, send them a passport size photo. Within a week, you get your TK card. Teddy is also like Woolworth. Uh, they have everything very, very cheap. So, yeah. So what work do you get done here? So, here basically, first thing you do is your Wohnung Anmeldung. Then, uh, additionally, you can apply for Begrüßungsgeld. That is, the city gives you money to basically explore the city. About 80 euros you get. And once your Wohnung and Meldung is done, then you can apply for the Aufenthalt title. Aufenthalt Where do you get that done? The uh, extension of visa? Extension of the visa? Mm -hmm. Is it the same place? Same place. So you go in, okay. any, anything you want to do, you just go in from here. Okay. Only different locations are there. Got it. So Wohnung uh, An Meldung is on the ground floor. Okay. Then Begrüßungsgeld is on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. uh, then if you want to do uh, this Aufenthalt title, then you need to go a place up, then a, a place down. Mm -hmm. But basically, it's very simple. Everything is right here in this building, though. Yeah, yeah everything is right here. To get here, uh, you can Google this Marktplatz 1. And uh, uh, Google Weisenhausen Platz. Okay, Google Weisenhausen Platz. Because Weisenhausen Platz is the station name for the Rathaus. I see. And uh, if you take bus number 5 or 6, depending on where you are, Weisenhausen Platz is always one of the stops. Got it. So I'm going to quickly take a help of Google Earth just to show you um, where is the entrance. Actually, entrance is right here. Uh, and then we should have walked in right here and then this is the common area 
but instead we entered from here okay so we entered from this area we went inside this building is w1 and then this is w2 and then this is w3 and this is w4 okay where are we right now so we are at the back end of our university mm -hmm. uh, what you see here is the w1 building and this is the w2 uh, both these buildings have got classes in uh, say management uh, marketing management bwl uh, engineer with shaft and so on and now let's go ahead and check out the rest of the campus okay what's the cost of living here as a student mm -hmm. for me uh, considering the rent uh, insurance and groceries it could go somewhere about 500 to 550 euros uh, okay. a month this is the same for you yeah, yeah. 450 to 500 okay yeah. so, so now we are at the front of at the entrance of the university basically. where is the entrance oh we are so the reason being we entered from the back side so uh, right now in the main square of the university uh what you see behind me is the mensa mm -hmm. that's basically the canteen where you get good subsidized food when you attend the lectures yeah. and uh, on the right is what you see is the front of the w1 building and right next to it is the W2 building again where all the management classes are held especially the ones that have got more students in it and then right here is the favorite part of my university that's the library uh, you have a lot firstly a lot of good books that you can use throughout your semesters for different subjects and also if you want to sit and study there that is also a possibility and uh, towards the end of the library there is an amazing view of the whole city so okay. i think that is one of the best parts of the library i would say so this is the library he was talking about yep this is amazing so right now we are in the school of business school right now business school yeah otherwise there is a design school and there, there is, is a engineering school, school in the city okay down down the hill and right next to the business school what you see across the road is, is the engineering school oh that one like yeah right there so this is the w3 building mm -hmm. again the one after that uh where we go is the w4 w4 is w4 after w4, this okay yeah after this uh -huh. and that is where we have our mba classroom for international management it is uh, i would say pretty decently big classroom for 2025 students okay and uh, that is basically specifically for the mba uh, lectures so this is all library right yeah, yeah we could see library. the glass edge i know what why you were saying the end of the library yeah. is so beautiful because the glass edge really like it's a, it gives you an infinity look yeah. yeah straight in the city yeah okay. so we just showed you the library and then from library we took a left and we went to the business uh school that's w1 this is w2 this is w1 and this is w2 right right next yeah yeah this one right and let me show you something very interesting this is on the campus right it's charging yeah oh my god man like they also have this usb stick thing here wow okay i think it's just a solar panel yeah, right solar panel. yeah that's why wow and look the way they have placed this thing here oh god what we just showed you is all w buildings the w1 2 3 4 uh this is a library yeah. and uh this is mensa and we are right now standing here and this is a engineering school which is right here i'll okay. just quickly take you to the main area where i have actually missed one of the buildings so this is a spot where we are standing right now and uh, we showed you this whole area this was the common area this is a building actually we forgot to show you but yeah just want to highlight what about part time job situations here in the city so right now i think it is better that uh, you check within Karlsruhe or Stuttgart for a part time job okay uh in Pforzheim if you want to uh, really you really need a student job there are also a few companies but that are located in the north star that is the other side of the city from here uh 
possibilities there are it's just that you need to you know do not search superficially but you know go do a more intense research on what kind of positions are there what about german language requirement uh i would say it is always good to have the german language requirements because uh, it kind of uh, helps you better integrate within the job profile that you would be doing and uh, it also kind of helps you break a certain barrier with your colleagues mm. if somebody wants to get from the main station to the campus mm -hmm. which is this is the bus yeah. stop uh what what number do they take uh bus number 5 basically from the hauptbahnhof mm -hmm. and then you take the hauptschule wildpark one that get, gets you here directly that's the last stop yeah. Did you apply for some other universities too? No, just uh, Pulsar was my first ap application and I got selected very early on so then I stopped my search for other universities. Okay. How much is the tuition fees for the whole uh, course of yours? Uh, for the whole course it is about 16,000. Okay. Uh, it was about 16,000 but if you have a background in uh, finance then you can skip the first semester. and then the course fee is 12000 also marketing and logistics so the marketing course was also quite extensive with the basic knowledge that is required for an mba to go around the within the city do you have like a semester ticket from uh, the university basically have a id card from the university that allows us uh, say the vpe tariff which is everything in and around fozheim for free okay. using the public transport so be it bus train or whatever so i am on my way to the main station right now yeah we have shown you the city we have shown you the campus now we showed you how to get the enrollment done where you get your visa extension done so yeah we talked we spoke about cost of living uh, life in general here so it's a quite peaceful city uh, to live here if you want to make it more commercial looking for a better, better opportunity if the city doesn't offer you you can very well go to stuttgart or to karlsruhe